Lesson three of the Argentine workshop. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the contra check, which is at the beginning of the routine, and describe the man's and the lady's steps, just so that you can understand the best way to go through this move. We'll demonstrate the step first. dancing the contra check. So I'll take it from the beginning here. And we do our two walks, our step lock, and then it's a side together, side together. Now the next step is a forward step, but it will be side and slightly forward as we've created some sideways movement here. And then as you do the check, we're trying to have a strong position like we talked about. And then we allow the lady to dance right back into our hand while we support her through this whole action. So the man's not doing the action, it's the lady. And then we recover the lady. We lift up the left hand. And now with my right hand on the lady's back, I'm going to lead her to turn under. That's it, side together. Okay, so here we are, we're talking about the contra check. I'm just doing it from a different angle here. So when we're dancing a check, like all checks in ballroom, we're trying to keep the weight a bit in the middle. So we're not getting a full transference of weight. It is, you step your foot and you're going underneath the lady and slightly across. So this is called CBMP. So you're not sticking your foot straight forward down the line. I'm walking across myself a bit. Now I'm getting my weight between the two feet allowing the lady to dance her step and my weight is between two feet here. See, I haven't leaned my weight forward. I've kept the weight in the middle and then you recover your weight back from your left foot to your right foot to recover. And then lifting up your left arm and with your right hand, sending the lady under. Now ladies, when you're going to dance your contra check, you're gonna go back and across yourself as well. But you're not going to lower the heel, ladies, because we don't want your weight to fall backwards. So you're going to keep your right heel, isn't it? Yep. Your right heel off the floor. So it's quite an abrupt action with your ankle. So your ankle is quite firm and strong there, and you're keeping your heel off the floor as you dance your check. Here we go. Check. You can see there, Sue's kept the heel off the floor, and she can recover easy. Versus, if she let her heel go to the floor, there she is, she's gone to the floor, there's a lot of weight to recover here, to bring the lady back. Harder for the man, and a lot more difficult for the lady. So we just want to keep the weight in the middle, so you dance the foot across yourself, with keeping your weight in the middle, you can really let your head go if you want, ladies, and then recover, and then lead her under. So, as we recover the lady from the contra check, we are going to move slightly leftwards. So here I go, I'm going into the contra check. Now, of course, if we did it this way, it might be a bit better. Because what I'm going to do is, from the contra check, I'm going to keep Sue on this line. See this line running down the floor here? This little line through the timber? I'm going to try and keep Sue on that line. So watch this here, I go with the contra check, Check, replace, I move away and keep Sue on the line. See, the man's moved away, the lady stayed on the line, and then we close. And then the man and lady then come both together, we come slightly forward towards each other to take up the gancho hold. 